The snake can't hear sounds in the air. It can only feel vibrations in the ground. So when a snake dances, it's not moving to the music, but following the movements of the snake charmer's flute. Being tone deaf is no handicap for snakes. Who needs ears when you hunt with very different super senses? In some parts of the U.S., you can find a snake that makes its own music. The rattlesnake only uses its rattle to scare away intruders. Because when it's out hunting, it's a silent killer. It may not be able to hear the mouse, but it can certainly taste its presence. That forked tongue is actually tasting the air. It's transferring tiny particles of mouse scent to a special sense organ on the roof of its mouth. The fork design allows the snake to detect which side the smell is strongest so it can home in on its prey. But snakes are number three in the countdown because they also have a sixth sense. This green tree python can sense wavelengths of light that are invisible to us. The snake is equipped with built-in infrared sensors tucked into pits along its lips. These let it see wavelengths of light that we can only feel as heat. This means the snake can track its prey using the animal's body heat. It targets using both a visual and thermal image. How would you like a super sense that lets you see in the dark? Having night vision goggles built into their lips means snakes are well equipped to hunt both above and below ground. Dolphins have a super sense of hearing that can detect sounds far beyond our audible range. Dolphins can make a complex series of clicks and whistles in the air sacs below the blowhole. But the vast majority of these sounds are too high pitched for us to hear. If you swim in front of a dolphin, you can sometimes feel intense vibrations through your body. That's because each dolphin is hitting you with high-frequency pulses of ultrasound. By listening to the echoes of these sound waves, dolphins can build up a picture of the world around them. A dolphin uses a large fatty organ in its forehead to transmit a beam of the ultrasonic pulses, much like a submarine uses sonar. Like sonar pings, the sound waves will bounce back off the diver. The beauty of ultrasound is that some of the ultrasonic waves can pass right through the skin. The beam may then reflect back off the bones or internal organs, resulting in a number of different echoes. Some scientists believe that these echoes are processed in the dolphin's brain to form a 3D image of the diver. We've been able to eavesdrop on the dolphin's ultrasonic communication for some time now, thanks to specialized auditory equipment. But recently, at the Holosonic Research Labs in Massachusetts, one man has found a way to use ultrasonics to steer sound. Get ready to throw away your headphones once you hear Joe Pompey's audio spotlight. The audio spotlight makes a very directive beam of sound that acts much like a beam of light. This device has a laser pointer in the center to allow you to see where the sound is going. As I move the spotlight across the camera, it gets very loud and then quiet again. And if I go back, you only hear the sound when the spotlight's aimed right at you. Pompey's disc is actually a high-frequency loudspeaker. 
it fires carefully selected wavelengths of ultrasound into the air like a searchlight. The column of air particles actually works to convert the high frequency waves into sounds we can hear. Focus the spotlight on someone's head and you can beam them their own personal music.